Welcome to another Gauging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the Energizer Weather Ready Emergency Flashlight. So this is an emergency flashlight that, as you can see, plugs into your wall, and basically you leave it on the charger, and if the power goes out, you can use it as a flashlight. It always will be charged, but you can also leave it on, and if the power goes out, it'll automatically turn on, lighting the way around you in case you need to evacuate or go to your basement during a bad storm. Currently, these are around $10 on Amazon, so check the link in the description to find that price. So in this video, I'll do a quick unboxing. We'll look at the device, look at the switch, and also where it plugs into the wall, and then I'll do some tests on it so you can see just how well this works. Some different things to note about this device is they say it has 40 lumens, so we'll see how strong the flashlight is, if it's enough to light your way or use during an evacuation. And then on the website, they advertise that the battery will last around three and a half hours, so we'll be doing some testing over that. Now right now I have a second one that, as you can see, is still shining bright, and this has been on for currently almost five hours. So while it got a little bit dim around four hours in, it's still working and you could use it for navigating in the dark or for a stairway, something like that. And I'll give you the final number on this once it's done. So the packaging is very simple to open. You just rip the top of it and then you can kind of push it through and get the flashlight out. Taking a closer look at the flashlight, you can see from my hand, it's not too large. And with this little area where the plug's at, you can grab the whole thing if you need to get a good grip on it. Looking on the front here, we have an LED indicator that lets you know when it's getting power. We have a light switch right here. It does have some texture to it. So if I flip that up, the light will come on. And as you can see, it did come charged as well. Then looking at the lens, it is a single LED in there. As you can see, the lens is protected by a bezel. And the neck here points up and kind of goes in so that if you have it in a hallway or something, people will be less likely to walk into it. And I do like that angle because it allows me to kind of set it on a table and I can have the light point up at a wall or maybe point it down towards the floor if I'm trying to make sure people don't trip on stairs or something like that. So if you did need this, it'd be useful in several different ways. So right now it is in flashlight mode, but if I needed to charge it in a wall, all I would need to do is go to the bottom, push in and then slide out the prongs that go into your electrical outlet. So as you can see, these are going to be the same size. So it'll fit either right side up or upside down in the plug and it does not block the other plug. So you can have other things plugged in, maybe a surge protector and still have this device there lighting your way if the power goes out. So very cool there, I like that. Everything here seems very sturdy and well-made. Now let me show you what it looks like when it plugs in. So if I plug it in right there, you'll get that red LED. If I turn it on, as you can see, the light does not turn on, but the second that I remove it from the power source, the light will turn on and that LED turns off. And then when I plug it back in, it turns off. So if you have this in your house and the power goes off, it's gonna be lit. And when the power turns back on, your flashlights will turn back off and recharge the batteries. Now with the testing that I showed you at the beginning, I was able to get eight hours out of this older flashlight for a light that was bright enough to definitely navigate if you had no other lights. So I would be able to see downstairs or in a room or even, I even tested it with reading in the dark and it still worked. So that's pretty cool that you could have this in your house for less than $10 and be able to have a flashlight that lasts for eight hours. One thing I wanna note is this was sitting in my hallway and I never thought to dust it, but it did get a little dusty. So I would recommend probably cleaning this every quarter or something just to make sure if it does get turned on, it's not dimmed at all by dust on top of the actual flashlight there. So I've been using these in my house for a couple years and they've been very dependable. They still work great, as you can tell, with eight hours of battery life out of this. And they just give me a little bit of peace of mind. I have them on each floor of my house near the stairs. So if for some reason there was a tornado or something like that and we had to get down in the basement quick, our path would be lit and we would be able to see the stairs clearly as well as see where our dogs are at to make sure that everybody gets in the, in the basement and is safe. All right, so you can get a better idea of what it looks like in a plug. As you can see, I am able to Use the plug below it, and it does not stick too far off the wall, so you don't have to worry about anyone walking into it. All right, so I'm in the dark now, and I'll turn the flashlight on so you can see just how bright it is. It's not the brightest flashlight in the world, but this is definitely good enough for making sure you don't step on anything, and then if you had to evacuate in a rush or something like that. As you can see right here, I do like it because you can set it up on a table, and it will point upwards and really light up a good portion of a room. 
for entertainment, having dinner, or maybe just having to read a book if the power goes out, something like that. So really cool there, very bright, and it works great. All right, so that was a quick demonstration and review of the Energizer Rechargeable LED Emergency Flashlight. If you have any questions about this device, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add affiliate links below so you can find this exact device, as well as a three pack to save some money in the description below. So check those out, click on them if you'd like to support me. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.